what's up everybody um this is going to be my first kind of tutorial it's i guess it's really just a help video to get around a very common problem with people for people who use uh wacom products that being a cintiq or a intuos or a uh, cintiq companion 22 hd 27 qhd whatever you have this is going to be a problem that uh you'll deal with when you install a new tablet and drivers for that uh, product um what i'm talking about is the pen pressure sensitivity issue affecting all people who draw in Photoshop. Um, really quick, by default, when you install drivers and set up your Wacom, you are going to have, uh, if you go to your Wacom tablet properties, this option for Use Windows Ink. This is a new feature that they added to the latest uh, drivers for Wacom products. Um, prior to this, you had to go through a really, really weird process of turning off all this pen feedback information that came with Windows Ink. Windows Ink is a terrible implementation on Windows part to deal with uh, pressure sensitive tablets in Windows. I don't know the specifics but I know it's a problem and I know how to fix it. Uh, so really quick, by default Windows Ink deals with pen pressure in Photoshop really really well. If I leave Windows Ink on, what that's doing for me is um, it gives you all this useless information. If you hold Alt, it tells you that you're holding Alt. If you hold Control or Shift, it's the same thing. Nobody needs, to, nobody needs to know that information, it's really useless. Secondly, it adds all these really annoying little cursor uh, marker things for, for absolutely no reason. It's, it's really strange. Also, it kills my right click and it does a bunch of other stupid things like adds flicks and a few other really annoying things that nobody wants or asked for. Nobody asked for these features. Um, anyway, the one good thing about this is that if you go to Photoshop, Um, and you make a new document, by default if you have Windows Ink turned on, Photoshop is going to work really well. You have perfect pressure sensitivity, you have the, the nice fall off of the opacity here and the, the, the tail and the tip of the, of the stroke. Um, if you stroke harder you get a really nice fall off here, you get a thicker, thicker line. Everything in Photoshop works exactly how it's supposed to with Windows Ink turned on. This is a good thing. The problem is you can't have Windows Ink turned on because it's going to make you hate yourself and want to throw your computer out the window. Um, so in order to fix this, uh, what you have to do is, this is great by the way, uh, what you have to do is, um, once again go back to your Wacom tablet properties and turn off Windows Ink. When you do that, everything works really well in Photoshop exactly how you want to. You no longer have that annoying Alt or Control Shift display, but the pressure now goes out the window. Right now, that pressure is gone. I have no fall off at the tail. Everything in Photoshop is broken, and this is the problem that everybody is trying to fix. So, really quick, I'm going to close Photoshop. And I'm going to tell you how to fix this. Um, a lot of people have talked about using drivers to fix this problem, or um, other methods using registry keys and other things to that nature. I think that worked for other, for previous versions, but this, from what I understand, is the best way to make this work and uh, not have any features of uh, Windows Ink turned on. So, really quickly, all you have to do is make a new, um, let's see, make a new uh, text document. Make a new text document, and uh, what you want this to say is, really quickly, uh, hashtag or pound sign use win tab your second line should state use system stylus zero okay so use win tab use system stylus zero and that should take care of it the import the other important aspect of this is that um, when you do this you want to have your hidden files hidden items shown um, so however you have to do that just go to view or whatever or wherever it is hidden items uh, just turn hidden items on, and then uh, what you want to do is you want to save this. If you go to File, Save As, and you want to go to your local disk um, under Users, your name, uh, and then you have to go to App Data. App Data is the folder that's going to be hidden, but if you turn on Hidden Folders, you'll see App Data. Go to Roaming, um, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC 2015, or whatever version you're using, this would work for 2014. Uh, or CC or 2015. 
Adobe Photoshop CC settings, and then here is where you want to save it, and you want to save it as um, PS user config. You want to save it as a plain text file, PS user config. Save it in this folder, and Photoshop. Oh, and the only thing I forgot to mention is that close Photoshop when you do this, I'm, I think it has an effect on how this works. But uh, Photoshop now will work properly with the pen pressure that you had, but not using Windows Ink, which is the best part. So if you open up a new document in Photoshop and paint, you will see that you have perfect pen strokes again, minus all the bullshit that Windows Ink applies to your interface and how you deal with your computer. Um, once again, that's, you know, applying more pressure, you get more pressure. Softer pressure, you get really soft strokes. This is exactly how you want your Photoshop experience to be because you appreciate pen pressure and that's why you probably purchased a Wacom Cintiq or a Wacom Intuos in the first place. So, that being said, I really hope this helps some of you guys who are confused as to how to fix this problem. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I will be happy to respond. And lastly, um, sorry for the sirens. I live in uh, New York. It's kind of loud. I'll let that go. Really sorry. Yeah. Um, so lastly, uh, I'll leave all the text information on how to write that uh, text file out in the di in the uh, description. And like, once again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And uh, good luck and happy painting. Cheers.